We have been playing video games since the 1950s, where the first computerised games were made on university computers. By the 1970s, home consoles and arcades cemented gaming as a mass medium. Ever since then, there have been many games people regard as a classic. Some simple, some complex, and some game-changing. So, today on Games of Reference, we shall be answering the question, what is the best game ever? Obviously, one of the first places to look for the best game ever is by looking at critical review scores. According to Metacritic, a site that averages review scores, the top rated game ever is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, with a score of 99 out of 100. This near perfect score by critics would seem to be the end of this search already, but there are problems with assuming this. On Metacritic, certain reviewers' opinions are deemed to be more important than others, so Metacritic's algorithm for generating its scores weighs these opinions above others, creating a biased result, so we cannot totally rely on this. Perhaps a better place to look will be at the user scores. Just looking at Metacritic, it is clear that the mass audience for games thinks differently to critics. For example, the previously mentioned Ocarina of Time has a user score equivalent to 91 out of 100 instead of 99. To contrast, the game sequel, Majora's Mask, has a fantastic, but in this case, inferior score of 95 out of 100 from critics, but has an equivalent score of 92 out of 100 from users, more of an Ocarina of Time. And it is these opinions and choices that affect another way to find the best game ever its sales. If a game has sold a large amount, then it has, in all likelihood, done something special to warrant that place. The best selling game of all time, across all platforms, is Tetris, which has sold 495 million copies. To put that number in perspective, this will be enough to give everyone in the UK, Ireland, France, Canada, and the USA a copy of Tetris, with a few million left over. The game has reached a wide audience thanks to simple and addicting gameplay, which has resonated with many people, but this assumes that everyone who played the game enjoyed it, which certainly would be untrue. As well as this, the best selling product for anything is the one with the largest mass appeal, which doesn't necessarily indicate its quality. Maybe then we should judge the best game on its importance to the gaming medium as a whole. Perhaps the game which shaped the industry the most would be Super Mario Bros. During 1982 to 1985, before the release of Super Mario Bros and the release of the NES, the Western gaming market was recovering from a crash, due to many games in the late 70s and early 80s lacking quality control. With a high profile E.T. for the Atari 2600 highlighting this to consumers. Nintendo then released the NES, which was massively popular in places such as the USA. Super Mario Bros. was the first party game released with a console. If it were not for Super Mario's great level design and novel gameplay, many wouldn't have carried on gaming, and those still stung by the 1982 video game crash wouldn't have had restored faith in gaming as a medium. There are clearly more ways in which we could try and find a single best game ever, but to do that would take an impossible amount of time, but from what we have discussed so far, we can say that, while the answer may be a cop out, there is no singular best game, it all depends on your viewpoint. Thanks for watching Games of Reference, what do you think is the best game ever, and what is your favourite game ever? Leave that and anything else in the comments below, and like, subscribe and click the links on the screen if you want to see more, but until then, see you in the next video.